yeah. But uh, these two players are not unknown to me. We got Volviga and we got uh, Don't Cap Me, who is... Uh, he warned me yesterday that he would be on someone else's Switch. So there you go. Uh, that's why his name is Icy here and not, you know, Don't Cap Me, as we usually see him. But yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is uh, hopefully going to be a good one. They are... I think they're going to do their striking right now. And then we can, you know get into it so yes i'll share my screen with you there you go thank you and yeah we'll uh get into it hopefully soon because i don't i don't really see volviga interacting the uh in the chat there so i i hope that uh <laughs> all of that will be done in dms or something in this case yeah and from looking at the character database it turns out they both are playing zelda mm -hmm. i kind of figured it's gonna, it's gonna be a Zelda ditto. Like, yep. <laughs> you don't see that every day, but um, I, I actually have seen it happen a few times now on this yeah. stream. Mostly yeah, with Yannick Don't Cat Me. Don't Cammy, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Yannick vs. Don't Cat Me was one of them, indeed. Which I believe Don't Cat Me won back then. Yeah. So correct. let's see if history repeats itself and he, gets, he wins the uh, ditto again. Or if Volviga destroys that trend let's see mm -hmm. don't get me through the coin and his heads uh i'm not sure what <laughs> i don't see uh him I, anywhere i think they're discussing it in chat like in dms yeah i and think so too they just then don't get me pulled out the uh, the stream uh, player's channel to do the coin flip pretty much i suppose uh ja rebels thank you for the follow and uh, good luck on stream in a bit because i know you are up later today so yeah. Now, see, seeing how you've experienced the Zelda Ditto before on stream, mm -hmm. uh, how do you think it's gonna play out? Do you think they're gonna play the same way we've seen before on stream, or it's mm. gonna be a different approach? <sighs> to be honest, man, Zelda Ditto just seems like a very like wacky time, cause they they both have a Phantom, they both have a Reflector, uh, they both have good out of shield games, so neither of them really wants to approach the other with falling aerials. I mean, like. What, what are they going to do? I think <laughs> neither of them wants to interact here. But I, th I feel like both players are going to interact. So that's going to be interesting. They, See. they just want to get done with the ditto. <laughs> yeah. Zelda ditto is 60-40 for Zelda. I believe you. <laughs> I can see it. I can definitely see it. You know, the reflector to bait out the phantom and all that. And yeah. Finish it. The, the... And then reflect your back even harder. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect bait, right? <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, well, I think we're gonna get started here. Uh, we're just waiting on the both players to uh, to start the match. And then we've got our first set underway. Here we go. Volviga versus Don't Cap Me. Let's see what stage they're going to. I, uh, I'm actually curious, yeah. Yeah, because, you know, striking in a ditto comes purely down to preference. So we're gonna go to Smashville. Yeah, oh, Don't Cap Me started out with the taunt. But then, <laughs> but then Volviga <laughs> hit him. And, okay, we're okay. gonna yeah, they're just gonna play it out now. All right. Well, Volviga with a bit of a lead here to start it off with, but uh, nothing too crazy. You know, in, in case Don Cammy loses, it, Don Cammy got the jaw on you now, ready, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed, like <laughs> the easy excuse. Oh, that's a big F smash. Good amount of damage on Don Cammy already. Volviga looking kind of uh, solid at the moment, but. The dash attack trades with the F smash. I definitely feel like that Don Camp me is the more aggressive player. Like, Volviga just looks like they're just ready to stick to the game plan. And oh! Don Camp is supposed to go against it. Like that right there. Oh just throwing out the, the forward air. While Volviga was assumingly parrying, I wouldn't say so. Or wasn't ready to react. Dude. Oh, it's going fast. <laughs> yeah, dude, I'm just still surprised that Volviga got blown up at, like... I, I mean, he was at 87 or something after the hit. That's crazy. Those feet hit hard. <laughs> yeah. Hard. Crazy how that works, but, um... All right, I, I yeah. see Volviga really trying to catch Don Cammy on his approaches. Like, he does a lot of uh, dashback F-Smash to try and catch a jump in, stuff like that. But, um... 
and it don't get me sometimes gets hit by it but he definitely knows like he needs some patience in his aggression mm -hmm. there we go <laughs> hey raise thank you for the follow um maybe later today <laughs> mm. yeah, so yeah. Oh, oh yeah, yeah that, getting called by the, the ledge trap. that is classic zelda coverage <laughs> Just Indeed. using the phantom and then covering the roll. What are they going to do? You know, you need a lot of patience and good decision making in that situation. But I kind of would expect from a Zelda main that they, you know, know the setup. But once again, yeah, Braze loses the stock at like 80. I, I would have kind of expected like knowing your own character would have some kind of counterplay in case you have to play a Ditto. But like, in a way, it's also understandable. Like, you would not expect to play the Ditto all the time. So it's... Right. More than likely, so like they know what they're doing, but they haven't exactly found the answer to each other yet. Mm hmm. I was kind of afraid that uh, Volviga was gonna go off stage with that teleport there, but uh, <laughs> luckily he didn't. They're both still in this game, but uh, you know, Volviga again with a, a slight lead, but we've seen Don't Kami kill at such early percentages that he needs to be careful. Mm hmm. But yeah, most uh, most dittos are just really weird. And this one is something you would expect to play out either. No, this one is no exception. It's right, gonna do a reflector from ledge. Yeah, oh, the double reflect! <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> I f I felt it coming as well. I I was thinking like, oh, he he's gonna reflect from the ledge, and but don't get me read that. That's uh, that that is beautiful. <laughs> beautiful beautiful recognition right there what a way to start off today's stream that is uh that is a great little interaction there all righty so don't count me gonna take the first game but um i, f I feel like volviga could definitely take this you know it was a very evenly yeah, matched game it was definitely evenly matched i just feel like volviga has like some faint few things to figure out about Don Campy's play style because mm -hmm. I would have to say for myself Don Campy does play different from like the average Zelda a lot more aggressive in my opinion mm -hmm. while they do know their setups and like less trapping and all that I do feel like Don Campy is a more naturally aggressive player in comparison yeah I think so too and um to be honest I don't feel like that fits Zelda all that well as a character but you know if you get used to a character and you have a lot of proficiency in playing a certain way with them, most of the time you can make it work. Uh, mm. It might not be like the most optimal thing, right? But it, it can definitely, you know, have its advantages of catching people off guard and not knowing how to deal with that style of character, you know? But let's see here. We're gonna go into game number two. And don't get me with a one uh, game lead. Let's see if Ovega can make something happen. Oh, we're going to Carlos now. Mm. Big stage, lots of room to play around with, but I would assume that Don't Can Be doesn't want to give the breathing space to Bobby in this stage. Yeah, I, I think most crucially here is that during the previous game, we saw Volviga die early every single stock. Whereas this stage, you know, has some of the biggest blast zones in, uh, in our rule set, I believe. So that should allow Volviga to at least live somewhat longer, which I feel benefits him a lot. But maybe that wasn't the, the reasoning behind this pick. I don't know. I, I think that's not entirely the case. Because if anything, Don't Kami was killing a lot from the side. And the, the side blast zones are way close in comparison. Usually the kills were close to the ledge. So I would assume mm. this does not affect what Don't Kami is playing. All right. I, I, I assume, like, if anything, Fulfiga might struggle more or, like, snatch kills earlier. And in this case, get the SD. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that can happen as well. A little bit unfortunate, but, you know, still in this. Not a big deficit. All right, sets up the Phantom for some more pressure. That should be a big punish, but gets the sour spot off the back air. Don't can me just chilling, really, with this lead. Oh, yeah. I was not sure what happened with the trade there. I am so surprised Volviga went for Reflect from the ledge again, because... Like, I, I would have thought that after how game one ended, he would never go for that again. But there you go. It's got, got to show you, you kind of like don't respect the option, you know? Mm -hmm. I, I guess that's just the kind of the statement here. No mix-up mix-up. Yes, indeed. The, the best kind of mix-up. <laughs> Depends on who you ask, I think. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think it's... <laughs> I, I didn't quite catch you there. What did you say? 
not the most optimal mix up, but actually it's quite funny. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it can really get into someone's head, right? Oh. But oh, it gets blown up again from across the stage. Well, yeah, yeah. Long live the rage. Oh, dash tag takes the stock. First move, percent easy. Yeah, but now this is a big deficit, you know. Uh, the fact that Don Cami was able to take that second stock because of the rage, that really hurts now because he's a full stock ahead. Volviga will need to make something big happen here, but that is not easy. I do think Zelda has the setup to make this comeback happen. As long as Volviga re like regains cal his calmness and like composure. Ooh. Cause I do, f I do feel like he's kind of like throwing stuff out now. He's kind of panicking. Yeah. Again, went for the reflector from the ledge. Don't count me. You got to punish him for this, my man. But um, what I really I, liked from Don Cammy just now was that, you know, he got a down throw and instead of going for an option instantly, which he was prone to doing before, now he actually weighs out the defensive option. That's some solid character growth right there. Indeed. Don Cammy is definitely one of the few that has the most growth in, like, the past season of Snow, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. but, like, oh. how he started. But all right, Volviga making up for this deficit. He is slowly and but surely trying to make it back. But the Dins fire, just as I say that, denies him. They, they, they both did it at the same time. It's <laughs> inevitable. <laughs> it's inevitable. Yeah. Uh, you got a question from the chat if you uh, um, commented before. Have you commented much before this? No, I have not. If anything, I have never commented before this. Like, I had interest in it, but I never really, like, Felt like the opportunity would arise. Mm -hmm. Well, I, th I think you're I, doing a bang on job so far. Yeah, I think it's just great to like review and discuss gameplay with people. It's really fun. Oh yeah, for sure. You can learn a lot from it. Like yeah, just just like sharing the different minds and perspectives makes it a lot more interesting to discuss about this game yeah. for me. And like everyone has a different perspective, and that's what makes it so much interesting for me. And uh, yeah, that's that's really like what caught my, my interest with it i just feel like i'm also by nature a very analytic person but it's not about me it's about the players here <laughs> i mean you gotta ask a question so it's only fair yeah, that you yeah, respond exactly. personally uh i see marth yeah 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 i i was just playing some friendlies with people and i like playing marth don't judge me the, too hard <laughs> no the real question is is the is the shock marth nasty yes awesome it's tank. <laughs> Alrighty, <laughs> let's get into game number three. Yes, sir. Will Don't Cat Me get the 3 0 and repeat his, uh, you know, proficiency at the Zelda Ditto, or is Volviga gonna put one on the board? Let's get into it. Oh, starts off with the UB. That's a call out and a half. I definitely like how he's had like a different stage every game. Mm -hmm. now. And it definitely just brings, like, a better perspective of, like, how these characters like to play around these stages, for sure, with, like, the game plan and all that. But, uh, I am definitely curious how to, to see how that influences, like, the ditto. Oh, I like that, you know? Uh, oh. Kind of figuring that he was gonna go for the, uh, the reflect there. Pressuring it before it could reflect, really, the phantom, and then getting the hit of the phantom as well afterwards. That's the good yeah. stuff. That's definitely like some uh, a very good read on uh, Don Cannon's part. Mm -hmm. Like you, you definitely see a lot more Zelda's do that. Like when they start catching on to like what your go-to habit is. Yeah. The they usually speed it out with the Phantom and then like punish that habit afterwards as well. Yeah, he did the exact like, thing you were describing there. Because during the previous games, we saw him set up the Phantom at the ledge, and Volviga would jump and neutral B to reflect it. This time, instead of trying to reflect it back. What Lokami did was just nair in the spot where he was going to jump and then the phantom killed them. But now, Volviga takes a stock and we're even again. Oh, <laughs> dude, the way the phantom drags people around sometimes is so wonky. You're never ready for it unless you're like experienced with the match. Though. Yeah. Oh, that should be a KO. Yep. Yeah, yep. I've... I feel like overall Volviga has been a little bit too unsafe when it comes to, uh, you know, their, either their offensive pressure or just uh, their get off me options. Okami mm -hmm. really has been getting a lot of that out of that. I, I definitely feel like they're committing too hard to like the call outs and like defending themselves for sure. Mm -hmm. If anything, I feel like if Volviga wants to make this back, they should play safe and a lot more defensive from now on. 
Because like, it, I do feel like they they can do it, but how they're playing currently, you're, you're not going to be able to tell if like, mm -hmm. they're going to get punched hard like, like that, for example, almost. Don't camp me with like, maybe like an insane setup out of nowhere. <laughs> yeah. I feel like what seriously you're saying in chat is also very true, that uh, it kind of feels like Volviga is playing his own game a little bit too much and not really paying a lot of attention to where Don't Camp Me is going. But he caught that jump there, which was a very nice call out. And uh, is still in this game, but has to be careful. Lots of nares, lots of reflectors coming out. I think the nerves are getting them. It definitely, you can tell mm -hmm. like, from, like how they're dropping in, like committing too much. Yeah, I feel like Volviga is throwing out a little bit too many offensive options here. That's definitely not Zelda's strong suit. However, it is kind of working out because this, it feels like Don Cami isn't quite used to uh, this kind of gameplay where he has to play around the opponent a little bit more. Because usually mm -hmm. he's the aggressor, right? Like suddenly, so only disrespects the game plan and like forces their way of playing onto you. Mm -hmm. It's actually quite interesting to see how Don't Cam Me is dealing with it right now. I'm wondering to see if Don't Cam Me is gonna adapt or not, or like gonna get like somehow to like the gameplay. Oh, oh man, they're what? both just trying to trade lightning kicks here. I I, I think like Don't Cam Me is trying to call out a defensive mm. option, like that's why the pain jump and wait. And uh, Looks like, from the looks of it, Don't Camp Me managed to pull through and get the stock in the end. Yeah, he kind of caught Volviga with what Volviga started out doing in game number one, right? Which was the dashback F smash. But uh, this time it worked out spectacularly for him, taking a page out of Volviga's book, and that is going to be that. So, uh, kudos to Don't Camp Me. Gonna win that 3-0, and that was a swift first set.